Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We're in Obadiah chapter 1 verse 10 as well as Exodus chapter 12 verse 3. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for this word, Lord Jesus. Bless us as we partake in your word. Help us to apply it to our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Obadiah chapter 1 verse 10. Because of the violence done to your brother Jacob, shame shall cover you and you shall be cut off forever. All right. And so we've had this one before and this particular verse um, with a different um, verse. And so um, here the Lord is emphasizing to us, you know, to to not be on the wrong side again right it says because of the violence done to your brother jacob shame shall cover you remember um edom whom they're talking about um was against her brethren because you know of jealousy and of whatever right and and they always they knew that they were related to Jacob um, through Jacob and they were descendants of Esau, but they 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 did violence against their brother. When Babylon came in, they turned them over to them. Right. And they instead of giving them refuge, they turned them in and then they ransacked their houses. They just did the wrong thing um during that time and so it says shame shall cover you right so because of of this violence done to your brother it's just like with Cain and Abel this violence that was done to the brother um it says shame shall cover you shame mm. and so that is your covering when you act in violence against your neighbor the opposite of love right you were we were told that the greatest commandment is to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, thy mind, thy soul, and thy strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. And so here with this violence done against your brother, it's the complete opposite of the number one rule. So it says shame shall cover you and you shall be cut off forever. All right. And so of course they were cut off because they don't exist anymore. And so um, you can have that kind of covering, a covering of shame or this kind. Um, this is Exodus chapter 12, verse three. Tell all the congregation of Israel that on the 10th day of this month, every man shall take a lamb according to their father's house, a lamb for every household. All right. And so this is basically talking about the Passover, right? The Passover as it relates to um, sacrificing the lamb and um, placing its blood on the doorposts um, for the covering of God, right? Because the, the death angel was going to pass by those houses that had the um, lintel covered with the lamb's blood. And so this is the, the, um, the opposing covering, right? So you can have a covering that takes place because of the lamb, or you can have a covering of shame, right? A covering of the lamb or a covering of shame. And so um, we choose the lamb, right? So when we come under the covering of the lamb, there are benefits. The benefits, one of them being, you know, the passing over of that, that death angel. Um, and also just the many of miracles that God performed after that point so and before that point in Egypt and so um God is so good he is worthy to be praised he is the lamb that was slain from the foundation of the world 
He is everything that we need in a, a savior and a covering, right? And so the other one is just letting us know this is the opposing covering, right? This is the counterfeit covering. This is the covering that you don't want, a covering of shame. It says, because of the violence done to your brother Jacob, shame shall cover you and you shall be cut off forever. All right, you guys. So if there, let's go ahead and pray. Thank you, Father God, for this covering. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for blessing us, God, in our times of need. We love you. We give you praise in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. So if there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on a cross, and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Jesus, for doing this. In your name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if you have prayed that prayer and believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus himself when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth. And he's going to show you a church home, other people to be around um, so that you can stay sharp in the word of God, where to go to be baptized, as well as how to make disciples of all men. Um, one of the best ways to learn the voice of the Holy Spirit is to sit down with his word, chew on his word, meditate on his word, ask questions, and learn how to wait on him to answer you. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.